Hey everybody, it's Mr. Ferguson here. Today we're playing shoot the crap out of a Pepsi can. Let's do this. I'm gonna jump scare. Oh my god. That's how you do it, son. What's up YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina. Welcome to January, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're in a new year, 2023. Congratulations, you made it. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in today. Couple things before we get into the video. What, we, what I wanna to try to accomplish today is just kind of show you a lawn overview. Um, if you guys recall, last time we were out here and doing a video, we were putting down protein. 19019 from GCI Turf. Pete sells that protein brand. Doesn't come from GCI Turf, but he sells it. So we put that down slow release. So just want to see, show you uh, a little more of the lawn and the color uh, that it's produced. And, uh, and, and since we've done a video last time, I think a lot of us, I've seen even videos online from a couple vlog people that I've kind of followed um, where we had those Arctic temperatures come down right before Christmas. We, uh, I don't know if I put a post up about that or not or talked about it, but man, we were doing, I don't know if you guys recall, but way back um, about two years ago, we redid our bathroom and we were up there. Actually, no, it, was about a, it wasn't that long ago, but we haven't had an Arctic blast like that where we got down into to the single digit numbers here in North Carolina. That's very rare. It does happen, but rare. Well, we had like hot water on this, this sink, but not over here. The girls had no cold water, but we had hot water. It was just like random sink, bathroom, bathroom, where we had water and didn't have water. It's like, that don't make any sense. Like if it's gonna be cold, you know, it's gonna be cold. But it was like random places had water, and didn't have water. So we got up in our attic. We're on a concrete slab here. You know, we don't have an, uh, a crawl space or anything like that. So we got up in the attic and figured, oh wait, when we were doing all that work on our bathroom, we forgot to cover up some of the, the water lines because they're in the attic, not, you know, in the concrete slab. So they're laying in the attic. So we forgot to cover some of those with the insulation to protect them from the cold air when it does get cold because we were doing all that work in the summertime. So we did that. Everything thawed out. Um, we put, we actually went and got some, a couple bells of insulation at Home Depot and put for in the area of where all of our lines are next morning it was the same temperature we had no issues whatsoever so praise god uh, we figured out our situation but i know a lot of people have had a rough time so uh, if you're out there and you're still working on your water lines i feel you let me know in the comments below how you guys fared with that uh, that arctic air coming in uh, besides that guys uh, again thank you for tuning in make sure you check out twitter if you're interested channel memberships are below if you're interested i think people watching these videos and these times are the dedicated so i just wanted to greatly appreciate you and thank you so much we've had a great christmas Christmas. We went up to Virginia, just got back yesterday from um, a Virginia trip, seeing my wife and her, or excuse me, seeing my wife's uh, parents and sisters and all that. So great trip there. We've been traveling around. Um, so we're coming towards the end of the vacation time and we get back into, you know, making videos uh, uh, maybe two times a week or so. So thank you for tuning in today. So enough blabbing, just want to catch up on all that. Oh, let me tell you one more story. Um, about the uh, the post that I made with the shotgun. So I got that shotgun, that 12 gauge, when I was 13 years old. And then I did basic training. I went you know, to Iraq and I did all these things and traveled around. My parents moved and that shotgun just stayed with dad all those years until finally this Christmas in 2022, I said, he pulled, it, we were talking about something and he said, whose gun is this? I said, that's my 12 gauge. And so I finally got it from my dad and brought it to my house. And it's now in my possession for the first time as an adult. And so uh, I went to, when we went to Virginia to see my in-laws, I took, you know, bought some little bird shot and uh, cleaned it up a little bit, bought a cleaning kit and it fired. And so that's why, um, you know, we were having fun shooting up there in Virginia. They got a lot of land where it won't bother anybody. So had a good time with the 12 gauge, got, re, um, you know, uh, familiarized with it again. So that was fun to do and, and, and try to show the daughters, teach them a little bit about gun safety and how to handle it, not be afraid of guns. So I think that's necessary in today's world and the way we're going. So uh, anyways, with that said, let's look at the protein review. Let's just look at the lawn where we are. I've gotten a lot of questions about Mr. Ferguson, my lawn's changing color. Should I be, you know, scared about that? Or what's, what's the deal? Let's turn around. Let's talk about it real quick. Thank you for tuning in. 
So the other big thing that we had is we had crazy when that, you know, rain, we've had crazy wind one day. I mean, it was like hurricane type. It was worse than hurricanes that we've had come through. So we've got a lot of branches that fell. Um, but all in all, just, you know, looking at the backyard as our example, our protein, man, our color's looking fairly good. Could it be darker? Yes. Could it look more awesome? Yes. But even today, like it's... um. Today it's warm. Yesterday it was warmer and uh, we came out of that Arctic air and just started to um, warm up a little bit. So as we got back from Virginia, I'm in a short sleeve today, which is crazy. It feels really nice out here. It's about 55 degrees, so it feels warmer than it really is. But you will notice if you can kind of see it on camera, if you look past the leaves like that, there is a you know, dormancy type color coming to it. It's not fungus. I know we've had a lot of uh, wetness and things of that nature, but that little tinginess to the grass, I don't believe it's fungus personally. I think it's just dormant. The grass is just, when we have nine degrees overnight and you're not used to it in North Carolina, the grass is just, it's like, okay, it's time to settle in and protect ourselves um, in these brutal conditions, but it keeps bouncing like it does in North Carolina. We bounce from nine degrees up to, uh, I think it's going to be 65 this week. So it's like i don't know how my grass knows what to do they're like man what is this place that we're at like is it spring now like what's going on so it's it's you know the grass has to figure that out when the temperature temperatures keep fluctuating so we got a lot of fun gumballs dropping all over the backyard so that's always fun to see but besides the the dormancy you know tinginess that you may see and when i say that you know, if I just look right here, you're like, oh my gosh, Mr. Ferguson, you got fungus. But I, if you see stuff like this in your lawn, I don't believe it's fungus. I think it's just the plant protecting itself. And again, I'm not a scientist. I can't prove that to you. I could be wrong, um, but I'm not spraying anything at this time of the year. I just let it ride out till spring. Uh, the, the grass is going to do what the grass is going to do. And then spring's going to come and it's going to, it's going to thicken up and liven up. But you can see where we had that windstorm, man. It was, um, branches all over the place and uh, i need to get out here one time and uh now's the week to do it when it's warm and to kind of clean some of this up but it's just been man look at all the gumballs i hate gumballs so it's going to be a good old-fashioned raking time and you can just see all the uh the, the stuff but as far as color the protein has really provided a nice color and it seems like it's locked in with this color i don't see it um going away if it's if it stays in the 40s and the 30s it should lock this color in and i'm happy with that and you can kind of compare with mr brain and jar it's a little bit darker uh shade there um, but ultimately besides the gumballs that are everywhere it, it hasn't you know really grown any to need to mow again so the the mow height 3.5 inches that i cut it last time seems to still be the majority of the grass is 3.5 inches tall um, now this week when it's warmer will it grow mr ferguson is going to grow should i mow i think i was somebody asked me that sure if it's warm and you see some growth popping in there and you feel like it's jumped up the three or four you know four and a half inches and you want to mow and it's warm outside go for it man you're not going to hurt anything um, but it, it's going to continue. And even, you know, some of the pros will tell you your grass is growing during the winter. It's just super slow. So over time, you know, this three and a half inches will get to four. It's just so much slower than in the warmer months. Now with these streaks of warm and cold, you know, could it jump up all of a sudden? Sure. You can get out there and mow. I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, and then it could sit there and turn cold again and you'll lock in that last mow that you did and it looked pretty good. Um, the other thing that somebody was asking is if I'm nervous about, if you're nervous about, oh my gosh, do I have fungus? I mean, if you want to calm your mind, you could always do an application when it's warm, when they have these warm streaks of propiconazole, if you don't want to worry yourself to death. Is that necessary? I don't think so. Um, again, you've got that tinginess, you see? On my blades, I'm not worried at all at that. I think that's just frost. That's just the cold temperatures. It's just the grass doing what the grass does when it gets cold outside. I don't think you have to worry about your new lawn if you're uh, if you've got Kentucky bluegrass, a new lawn that you're you can still see the stripes in it um, and some of the leaves that's come down from all the rain. But I think you're going to be fine. But if it wants to ease, if you want to ease your mind and make sure, doubly make sure your grass ain't just going to wipe itself out. Throw some propiconazole down. That ain't going to hurt anything. Do an ounce per thousand. Let's do a spray. Throw in some CK. I told somebody do some RGS um, that's got some of those kelp properties to help in stress moments like extreme cold and things of that nature. Um, you can do that. I think that's perfectly fine. You know, and I, I, we've got a link in the description. It's not to sell that to you, but if that would help ease your mind, go for it, man. You're not going to hurt anything. Um, 
need to pick up some of these branches. You're not gonna hurt anything in your lawn by doing some CK or doing a shot of RGS this time of the year when it's warm. Now, if it's consistently in the 30s and the ground is frozen, I think you'd be wasting your product to do that. So all in all, just a quick overview of my lawn. I think things are looking fantastic. It looks like it's still at three and a half inches. There's no need to bring the mower out, even in these warmer months or warmer days that we're at right now. I love to mow it again, put another pattern on it, freshen up the stripes, but no need to do that. I think it's going to turn cold before long. It will have another cold streak, but everything up here in the solar green, the triple thread, everything just, it looks good, but it's a little, you can tell it's got that little bit of a tingy yellowy it's not dark green but it's not supposed to it's not spring that's why spring looks awesome because when it rolls around it's like oh man it is a deep dark looking green so all in all we're looking great here in central north carolina and so there's two more things i just wanted to mention uh i think it was the last video we did over here on the neighbor's fence remember when i said there's a hawk um my and i'm gonna screw this up now that i said this i showed that video of that hawk to my uh, wife's sister who's uh, um uh, spouse works at a veterinarian clinic. He knows all about animals. He said, that's a chicken hawk. I said, really? He said, yep, that's a, absolutely a chicken hawk. He looks like he's full. And I said, well, he heard him. He's like, well, you know, I, I, I don't know. And I was like, well, he looked like he was full and happy. So that hawk, I was right. It's a hawk, but it was a chicken hawk apparently is what they call it. And apparently there's six of them in North Carolina. He's telling me all this stuff. So that I did want to mention that. The second thing I want to mention before I go is my brother started a YouTube channel and uh um he's doing his own thing called glasshouse tv i just wanted to share that with you guys and i thank all of y'all that go to the vlog channel um, i put out a vlog post this past wednesday and uh, it was banned in canada because of some of the content i talked about some of the transgender topics and things of that nature and it said your content's uh, partially blocked in canada i was like Holy crap, like, why is that? Something about Canadian law? I don't know. Go check it out on Mr. Ferguson Vlog. But if you enjoy those, Glasshouse TV is my brother's new channel. He's trying to build it up and watch it. Just wanted to mention it to anybody interested in that. But thank you guys for tuning in today. Um, it's warm enough to come out here and kind of walk the lawn and show you how it's looking. We still got our little splotches and holes that need to fill in, hopefully in the spring with the seed that's there. But thank you for tuning in. Hope you're having a great new year thus far. We'll see you on the next Long Care video. God bless.